All right, this is a staple for the people who fish the Green River in Utah, the A section specifically. But it's uh, GT's Triple Double. GT stands for Gordon Theret or Theret. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he invented an awesome fly way back in the day. It's been fishing and catching fish on the Green River for 150 years. So that's a tall tale, but for a long time. Anyway, I'm going to tie kind of an amber version of it. The original fly called for, I think, Scintilla Dub, if you can still get that stuff, tie a bunch of these. But I found a good substitute that seems to attract fish in this uh, gingerish amber color. Um, but anyway, I'm starting with just a normal dry fly hook. Size 14 is usually the size I like to fish these. And uh, I'm using Wood Duck UTC 70 on this one. So I, basically you're going to have three clumps of hackle and two clumps of dubbing. It's pretty simple. So I've got a barred dark ginger hackle here. Um, you can use barred medium ginger. You could use Cree. Uh, you could use uh, cinnamon pepper variant. You could even use grizzly on this one. So don't let the hackle color uh, make you think that you're not going to be able to catch fish on this one. But anyway... I've just tied that in and I'm going to wrap shiny side forward for three or four wraps. Just like that and I'll trim that off. And the dubbing that I've chosen is the Whitlock's Red Fox Squirrel Nymph Abdomen Dub. So it's like that orangish ginger. It's got some sparkle, some spectrumized stuff in it. And I typically wrap my dubbing, how do I do it? I wrap my dubbing clockwise. But if I'm right-handed and I wrap it counterclockwise, it's gonna tighten up a lot. And if you don't, if you don't practice dubbing both directions on your thread, try it out. It'll give you some sore fingers for a while, but uh, if you ever need looser or tighter dubbing, do some experimentation with this. But I've wrapped it counterclockwise onto the thread. And now I'm just going to kind of create a dense ball of dubbing. It should be almost round. So you can see how that's round like that. Um, easier to achieve if you spin it counterclockwise. Then I'm just going to tie in another piece of hackle, same piece actually. Another clump of it. Same program. And see I'm starting to get looser hackle up here so I'll just go back and tighten it up a little bit And the cool thing with this is uh, you can do them in all different colors. Purple, Adam's color, you can use Ice Dub, you can vary the color of Hackle. Uh, so the, it's, it's a fly you can do in a bunch of different variations. I'm going to redo that one. My hackle doesn't want to cooperate, so I'm going to do a soft hackle technique. There we go.
All right, so you can fish that fly as an attractor. You can fish it during a caddis hatch as a yellow sally, a bunch of different flies, but there's something about it that just plain works.